All right, here we are in uh, True Mallow One Takedown. Gonna take this build out for a spin. Just kind of showcasing the gear. And then we're gonna get this party started. And the build. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, man. So, one of the things I like about this build is the fact that the Lucian's Call is not one of the guns that's been buffed recently. So it's a really good showcase, I think, for the professional tree because we're taking a sort of middle-of-the-road gun and with this tree, we're able to make it do some serious amount of work. Um... The reason why I'm doing Malawan takedown instead of Guardian takedown is because it depends so much on being able to hit crits and it's a lot easier to hit crits on human enemies than it is, for example, hitting crits on the flying enemies and the Guardian takedown uh, or the creatures in the Guardian takedown. So I don't think it's a matter of this build not being able to work there. I just don't think it's the best place to showcase it is all. So we're doing some work up against this, um, that heavyweight frostbite. And that's just the ASC doing all that work because he's immune to our cryo damage. So melting him that's all radiation and corrosive so clearly we don't have any accuracy or handling problems which was the nerf that this gun received back in the day Open your bloody eyes, just wrecking face, right? This is a middle of the road gun. This is not one of the new hotness guns and we're in true Malawan takedown and we're not having any trouble at all. I don't think I reloaded yet. Okay, I, well that was on purpose, not because I needed to. So you see it takes more effort when we don't have a risk grid. Okay, and now this is where uh, our man Flint comes into play. Able to do the extra damage while aiming down sides. Get us up. Uh, get our second win. We are taking a shit ton of incoming damage. We have all those enemies behind us just wrecking our shit. So you're gonna make a slight adjustment here just to optimize the uh, that first phase of the Valkyrie fight so we can just one shot their shields. Booyah, bitch. Put our gear back on. I just love Zane's new body model with that particular skin, man. It just looks dope as hell. There's another one. There's the, the Hot Rod one. That's my second favorite. Death comes for us all. But you first. Alright. See, once we get that shield down... You know, we're doing decent work because we've got the cryo and we also have the corrosive action skill and anoint. I remember when hack hounds used to be like the bane of our existence in this. Okay, so all this going down, that comes from our action skill um, 
and anointments from the grenade, you can still dot yourself. Which is bullshit. But I understand, I think I understand why they did it. This way you can still use elemental projector artifacts. But I think that should, they shouldn't have it work that way. I think if you spec in a duct tape mod, then you can't use elemental projector artifact. But if you want to use elemental projector artifact, then for self dotting, then you have to pick or not spec in a duct tape mod. I think that's the way they should do it. Because all of our going down has to do with um, dotting ourselves. Bring it, bitch. There's some satisfying with just fucking all this shit's up. Yep, that's sweet. Bite me, bite me, bite me. Like, re reload matters, y'all. Yep, self dot once again. But no, we're taking these guys out with the Lucian's call, so it's not like we're switching to some OP weapon Sorry, ladies. to kill them. Love to stay, but I've got a job to do. Those were advanced mechs, but we're off to something bigger. Keep going. I have so many ideas for builds, y'all. I, I really like this new skill tree. It just opens up so many possibilities. I got so many ideas for builds and stuff. Throwing at me now. Well, that one was we shot ourselves by shooting the shield. All that got reflected back on us, so bad aim on my part. I haven't been playing, I haven't been gaming in a while, so my aim is shit. Be None of y'all stand a chance. I don't realize it. You don't realize that this is a newer, better, more powerful Zane. They have no appreciation or recognition for how awesome we've become. Like, we were badass before, but now we're god tier. I love that joke. Someone watch my ass. You know, that could be like a, a gay joke. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, we're not even going to go there. Like, I'm watching this footage tonight, and I'm, I keep thinking to myself, remember when this used to be hard? Did you remember when this used to be hard? You know, true Malawan takedown would take hours to clear, and now we're running it like a proving grounds run. Sucks to be you, douchebag. Ugh. That murderization is so sacrifice, so satisfying. You're being shit. About to get your cap peeled back. That was a twofer. That was an almost twofer. That was a twofer. That ricochet has murdered the other guy. I call this a successful operation. Like nothing stands a chance. We're just mowing everything down. 
Did that one have a bounty? No. You sure? Oh. Get that extra damage by scoping in. And also tighten the spread. Was that a two for? I think that was a two for. I'm just going back and murdering everything. It just feels so good to be killing everything with the Lucian's Call. Like even when Lucian's Call was Zane meta weapon, I don't think uh, if which uh, Malawan takedown had existed back then, it would have been anywhere the as remotely as effective as it is um, now with this new skill tree. Because it's not just the skill tree itself that's making it effective. It's really our one of the big components is the uh, access to action skill and an action skill start anointments, right? So we're able to just freeze everything at will um, without needing brain freeze. So we're able to control the battlefield in terms of incoming damage. We've got our icebreaker on, artifact on, so we're doing more damage because we're all frozen. So it's just... It's just a lot of cool stuff happening. Bring your slow ass out like, what's taking you so long? Let's do this. Oh my god, it is bitch ass. And that's it. You're done. That was a twofer. Alright, and that's it. Let's, this is basically, it's basically over. Uh, we're not gonna fight Wotan with it though, because it's all about the crits. So we're gonna use um, the SMG primarily for the Wotan fight. You remember when this used to be hard? Can you guys remember that? That seems so long ago. Okay, look how much damage the cannon does. Look at that. That's about a third, right? That's pretty nasty. And we're not even optimized for the cannon. And it's, it's doing that much work already. I kind of feel bad for Wotan. It, there was a time where Wotan was a threat. Now Wotan's just straight up bitch made. I did. I did. I saw it, Zane. I wasn't even doing full damage, man. Like, uh, you're done. Wotan! It's all over, Wotan. Look at that. He's a chump. Wotan's a chump. Oh my goodness, he just got zapped by my cannon. Like a biatch. Now we're gonna clean this up. And uh, yeah, so that's the true Malawan takedown answering Lucian's call. And uh, I'll catch you on the flip side with the uh, the slaughter shaft. I kind of feel like the slaughter shaft is going to be anticlimactic, given that Malawan takedown is supposed to be the harder content. But who knows? All right, I'll catch you all on the flip side.